Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by and you got here. Go oh, right on time. Sunday morning, 10 a.m., we're always exploring a campground. Almost always. And man, I got us a good one to explore today. This will be our fourth campground on... I, I, I just, I keep drawing a blank. <laughs> I keep, keep, I can't remember where we are. Sam Rayburn on Sam Rayburn Reservoir. It's our fourth, fourth campground on Sam Rayburn Reservoir. It's actually our fifth if we go way back in time when I did Hanks Creek like four years ago. But anyway, for this year, this visit, this is the fourth campground. We are at Mill Creek. Corps of Engineer Campground on the east side of the reservoir. And as you can see, it's got some nice bank access. I'm excited to show you this one. So let's let's I'm gonna deploy a little red and we'll we'll go see what we got to we'll go see the I'm gonna deploy a little red and we're gonna go see some stuff. Looks like we might have some rain on the way. Better hurry. Cause I don't wanna get wet. But if you want to get wet and you're coming out to Mill Creek, you'll be happy to know they actually have a sandy beach for your swimming pleasure. So Mill, Mill Creek is, is looking a little rough. All right, let's, let's go find some more stuff. Man, I just love a campground with big old tall pine trees. And Mill Creek does not disappoint. Look at these beautiful campsites. Of course, the overall the, the the campground looks like it's in desperate need of renovation, but that's okay. It's still worthy of camping and exploring. But look at that. That's just so cool. All right, let's let's go see a boat ramp. I just thought we were gonna go see the boat ramp. The road's closed. That's all right. I got more stuff to show you. Let's go see some stuff. You're going to want to make sure. Remember to click the subscribe button. You're going to want to watch the virtual tour of this one on Wednesday. This is a pretty campground. All right. I can't I can't drive the scooter up there because there's a there's a tow catch. But if you've got a group of people and you're looking for a gathering place in the big thicket area, check this out. Got a great big group pavilion. Two big cookers. It's right next to the play structure. Check it out. Four swings. Well, right now you couldn't park. They've got some heavy equipment tearing up the the parking lot over there. But yeah, kiddos will be happy playing on that structure. And then if you got a volleyball itch, well, you can scratch it right here. Yeah, that's the second volleyball net. It's, it's not not like it was when I was out in East Texas, where every every Corps of Engineer campground had at least one if not two volleyball courts all right let's go see some more stuff so if you're wondering about handicap showers this one no access seems a, a lot of renovation is in order site number 62 great location really rough campsite but man look look at where you are oh it's too bad it's in such rough shape all right let's go see if we can find something else so i i found a handicapped shower that seems to be functional or not <laughs> Yeah, this one, this one looks even rougher than the last one. So 
sad. It's so sad. So, so they actually have big boy toys here. Look. I wonder how you rent that to play on it. <laughs> it's kind of throwing a wrench in the gears because you can't make the loop there unless you go under. All right, now we're gonna go see the boat ramp. For my boat ramp fans, there you go. It's a two-laner. And there's an interesting placard here. Have you seen the turtle? Alligator snapping turtles are a threatened species. Report sightings. So this boat ramp gives you access to that creek. What a cool place to take a kayak. And, but wait, there's more. There's more because, I'm, I'm not gonna take a little red down here. Uh, I had an interesting experience last week, if you'll recall, walking across one of those. It was really comical. We'll see if it's the same way here. Nope, this is a solid one. So this courtesy dock should be in the what? I mean, I should be floating right now. So the lake is very low. But that's because Texas has been in, a, in most of Texas in an exceptional drought. We've only just now started getting rain after months. Kayak launch. How cool is that? We have, I haven't seen any of those until we started touring this lake. All right. So now you've seen the boat ramp and the courtesy dock. Let's go find some more camping stuff. Mill Creek Campground actually has two. That's right, I said two dump stations. Make sure you bring your sewer hose cradle because there's a curb on both of those. It's a two-holer but one laner. And it looks like it may occasionally have some problems. Now there's potable water because they've got a barricade. So I'm thinking that occasionally there's some issues. All right, let's go see some more. Let's see some more stuff. I found a working handicap shower. It's in the, the north loop. I'm not exactly sure what the name of the loop is. Here, I'll throw, I'll pop up a map. That's where I am. Shower works, good. All right. Let's go check out some campsite. I like 25. Actually, I actually really do. I like site number 25. It's on a point. Sandy Beach. The ubiquitous lantern hook times two. <laughs> There's two lantern hooks. You can cook in, or you can camp in style. 30 in water, I'm pretty sure that's 30. Now the pad is horrible. Oh, that's 50, check that out. Okay, so that's 50. 50 in water, even better. Place to park the boat. I notice a lot of these sites now have a, a second parking spot next to it and I'm, I'm pretty certain that's to keep the boats off the grass. So right next to this one is another really good site. So that's, that's 25 and that's 24. Now 24, you, you're going to have an issue with the driver's side back corner being really low. 25. All right. 
let's go see some more stuff. I hear thunder. I gotta hurry. Anyway, site number seven. Check this out. It's on the creek. Site eight's pretty cool too, but it's kind of. But site number seven, be a little low on the back, but you're facing the, the creek. You're in the shade all day. Into the road. So no neighbors in the front yard. Well, you have a little bit, but no, no neighbors in, on your front patio. And you're right next to the forest. Yeah. All right. I gotta go do a scooter run before it starts raining. Mill Creek Campground. Oh, the lighting is horrible. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. So Mill Creek Campground. Background is horrible though. Let's go out here. Let's go out here and talk about Mill Creek Campground. This, this is the site that I would prefer to be in. The sad thing is, is the last campers that were here were pigs. They were slobs. They left trash all over the place. And, it, and we're not talking just little trash. We're talking pallets and anyway. If I, if I were camping here, I'd clean it up. I'm not camping here. I got a boogie. We got a big storm coming. I like this campground. It, it, it as I said over and over and over, it, it needs some, it needs some refreshment. It, it needs some re rejuvenation. Uh, especially the pads. The pads are just horrible. But the setting, stellar. This is definitely a waypoint stop because there's you're convenient to I think it's 89 running north and south up through East Texas. It is most definitely a destination. I mean, just just look at this. I mean, this is so gorgeous. Don't have high expectations for smooth riding on your skateboard. Not going to happen. Beautiful place though. I would definitely enjoy spending several days. Sorry, fire ants are eating my feet. <laughs> I'm standing right in a, in a fire ant bed. Anyway, yeah, you should come out here and visit Mill Creek Campground. This is a really cool place. And maybe if enough of us come out here and say, hey, you know, you need to work on this, then somebody will do something about it. We have that kind of power. Yes, we do. Meanwhile, I'm done here. I gotta wrap it up and get out of here before that big thundercloud moves in. Come out here and see Mill Creek. It's a great place. I'm at a loss for words, so I'll close it out. Hey, if you're still with me at this point, Thank you. I am so grateful. Please click on that thumbs up. And remember to click on the subscribe button. Oh yeah, remember to hit that bell as well. Because you know you want to watch every episode of the Dude RV Traveling Road Show. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why I get to do what I do. If it wasn't for you, I would not be here. Thank you for that. And for my patrons. I am most grateful. You rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear?